you, you voted out John Muhammad, did, yes. did you? Well, and, and you voted for MPP. No, hold on. No, I know where you're going. You're trying to force me to declare how I voted. You're not going no, to I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing well, that. Well, you just are telling me I voted out John Muhammad. It was a question. Did it you, was a question. Did you? Did I vote out John Muhammad? Of you're course. Me how ba I voted. Ba based on based on the kind of things you said, mm -hmm. Dumso was crazy. Mm -hmm. You've alluded to a lot of uh, issues with governance at the time, bad governance, mm -hmm. and it got to a deplorable state or so you say. Of mm -hmm. course, there's no way you're going to vote for such a person. Well, is, I is that the case? I, I, I worked for a change in government. And if you had an opportunity to effect that change by voting out the existing president, would you not take it? I will leave that to your imagination. Mm. Okay, I will leave that to your imagination. I have said something and I'll say it again. I honestly think that no intelligent person votes in a single way. So it could have been Mahama in 2016. It can be a Kufado in 2020. You can vote him out if he fails to no perform. No intelligent person votes one way. Except they are a dive in the whole party, you know, person, mm -hmm. which I am not. So again, I have declared clearly that for now, if I look across the political spectrum, I think Mahmoud Baumia will be the best president coming. You never know who will merge. Chanjahini can tomorrow become some fantastic guy who gives me absolute confidence. I might vote for you. Mm. Okay? And I ask for Ghanaians to have that spirit too. Okay? Let's be clear, you know, where we want to go and who has the best potential of taking us there. If you are dying and a doctor comes to try and save your life, you look at the doctor and it's the guy you fought with yesterday. You will let him save your life. It doesn't matter that you fought yesterday. Mm. When you finish, you can go back to fighting. That's the approach we have to take to our politics. We must find the best people, put them in office, and let them run our lives so that we can go on with the rest of the things that we are doing.